Okay, so what I'd like to show you here is how to set up Google Webmaster Tools for your Google site. And uh, the easiest way for me to, to find Webmaster Tools is just to uh, go to Google and just search for um, Webmaster Tools. It's the first result there. Um, so what you want to do, you want to you want to click that link, um, and then either sign in with your you want to sign in with your Google account. So I'm just going to sign in, um, and I'll see all my sites. You may uh, this may be your first one, but regardless, it's going to be the same. You want to click Add a Site, and then you'll just type the address of your of your website, your website domain. And we're going to do this twice, once without the www dot and once with. So first I'll just do without, hit continue. Um, and then we have to basically prove to Google that we, we are the owner of that website. And the easiest way with Google Sites is probably the second option, add a meta tag to your site's homepage. Um, and to do that, you'll see this meta tag right here, just copy that. I'm just going to hit copy. Uh, then I'm going to go back to my Google site, um, click, make sure I'm logged in, um, click More Actions, Manage Site, and on the General tab, you'll see a spot for Google Webmaster Tools Verification. Um, and right in there, I'm just going to paste that in. And you can see it, it's very similar to the uh, example there. Save my changes, uh, then go back to Webmaster Tools and hit verify and if all goes well you should see it go to this page um, kind of showing the webmaster tools for your site the next thing I like to do right after that is go add the uh, www dot um, my domain site so I'm going to do that exact same thing again but this time put the www before um, hit continue and this is uh, once again, I'm going to use that same meta tag, but since I just did this, it's the same meta tag. I don't need to, to re-copy and paste that. I'll just hit verify. Okay, so here's the Google Webmaster Tools for that site. Um, they're basically the same site. I actually set up so that uh, when somebody visits either iowebsiteguide.com or www.iowebsiteguide.com, they go to the one with the www. A um, couple things once you get to here that you probably want to do. I like to click Site Configuration and go to Settings. And under the Settings, you can do a couple things. You can you can uh, target the users in the U.S. Maybe you know um, it just kind of makes sense. And then pick your preference there. And the last little thing I like to do is click on this Site Maps. And this will submit my site map, which is basically just a list of all my pages on my site, to Google. So I'll do that by um, clicking Submit a Site Map. And then uh, this, is, this is a little bit tricky to remember, but it's System Feeds Site Map. And a slash at the end there. I think that's right. And if all goes well... Um, that will be added to my sitemap. So let's take a look at that just, just for fun. Um, I'm going to go to my uh, websiteguide.com slash system feed slash sitemap and you'll kind of get an idea of what that looks like. There it is. Um, it doesn't look like much to a uh, human but to a computer that's a good um, overview of the website. And Google will pick that up. Uh, and if it hasn't already found those pages, it, it will. And it will decide whether or not it wants to add them to a search engine. OK, so what can you do with Google Webmaster Tools? Um, I just set up that site for that iowawebsiteguide.com. But this grownlocally.com has been in existence for several years. And um, we can look at the webmaster tools to kind of get a, an idea of how that site is being accessed, how it's um, being used. So we look here. I'm just looking at the dashboard. You can see what did people search for to get to that website. And um, so impressions is, is how many people saw that in the search results and obviously how many people clicked on it. Um, what are some of the keywords that um, Google picks up from your website? Um, 
places that link to your website. Um, we'll probably want to do this. I guess this hasn't been done. Let's submit a sitemap again. Just go through that process. It was once again a system feeds sitemap. Um, you can kind of you can really drill down into the data here and see the change over time of of what people are searching for. Um, all the places people are clicking to get to your site, links to your site. Um, let you play around with that, but it, it does give you a nice um, kind of overview of what's going on with the search engine um, with regard to your site.